Hey guys, I am here to talk to you about the next generation of the Emblem Planning Report, version 3.1. It goes way beyond its predecessor. And I'm going to jump right in and show you how it works. First demo is with a phone. And we're going to do a quick import with a test account. We'll jump into Guildware. You'll see here there's no inventory. We'll go into Import. Uh, up top are the directions and how to uh, achieve it. It's really simple. And I actually have a file that I'd sent myself through email. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that real quick and copy that. I'll bring it back over to the import and paste it. We'll cut out the, the bottom line that's empty and verify there's not one up top and there is. We'll go ahead and, and remove that. And then we're ready to import. Click the import button. If all goes well, it'll let us know. It runs through the validation steps and boom, we uh, imported 196. We'll verify with the element grid, just a quick scan to make sure I got the heroes in here that I had had in there. And here's the next step. We're gonna set up a leveling plan. Currently it's completely empty. We're gonna go over to the class grid, best place to start, uh, barbarians. Obacon costume looks to be a great hero. So let's go ahead, incorporate him, and we want to max him. So we'll just put an M in there to keep it simple. Go to clerics. Let's say we need some healers. So we'll go with Toxicondra. And uh, let's go ahead and max her. So we'll put an M there for her. And then let's check out the druids. We definitely have somebody in here that is a star already. So let's go ahead and Freya, let's go ahead and update her emblems. Let's increase those. So we'll put an E in there to keep it simple. And on to the fighters. Okay, we'll stay kind of focused. Let's Thor, not too sure yet. So let's uh, go uh, healer and let's emblem Delilah. She's still a great hero. Um, so we'll go ahead and click her and put in E for emblem. And then the last one on this row will be monks. And let's go, uh, Bera, definitely. Let's go ahead and increase her emblems. So let's select her and, and put an E in for emblems. Then we'll jump down to paladins. Uh, you know what? The ninjas are pretty amazing. So let's let's bring up uh, all, all of them that we can that are in the import here. So let's go with Mika. Let's uh, put an M to max him. And then let's move over to the rangers here. Definitely, let's go with uh, Onyx. Save that, or I'm sorry, Max. And then, uh, you know what? Uh, let's also bring up Athena. She's pretty staple, so let's give her some some blems. So we'll put a, an E in for Athena. And then what do we have? Sorcerers. Definitely Garnet. Let's emblem her. And another one I saw right under her was not Norns. Whoops. Let's go back. And uh, Krampus is definitely turning out to be the star. Let's go ahead and grab Cobalt here. You definitely want to max him. And... Alfred, let's go ahead. Emblem her some more while he's still in play. Then take a look at 
the, the leveling plan it's listed by class shows you where you might have some issues with the wizard sorcerer and ranger but there it is that is the beginning of it so now you work off that list to do your classing and your leveling and basically when we jump into here select level plan through the epra and you can see we can class how many levels in the green and then any of the heroes being level is listed there one thing to note is because this was an import uh, they were imported without their node selection so you would use the class node bomb link shown right here to make those proper now on to my pc for a little bit more involved plan here you'll see if you know a little bit of HTML, you can do some markup to make it look the way you want it to for things to stick out the way you want them to. I'm actually in my second tier, I'm bypassing the holies because I'm going to give it a little more time on those. So if you watched a prior video, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go over to any max hero. I'll go over and pull up their emblem up in the upper right so that I can match what I have to update on the left. So here I'm updating my emblems. I did bring in food and iron. However, I think I may strip this out because I think it's a lot easier to use through the class no bomb grid as you're adding. Also, it's pretty easy to, to gain food and iron as opposed to emblems. So here we are. This is my plan. I don't have a lot to do, but it shows me exactly what I do have to do. Might take a look at Boro real quick, see what a, a node increase, probably the mana for him might do. Uh, I recall that being 2%. Chose a Misandra over Tyr last time. It looks like I can do a revive with her. And same thing. Liana, one node would give her an attack or health. And Marjana, even though I held her last time, I'm probably going to go ahead and move forward with her this time because I'm not going to wait. So let's go ahead and uh, take the route that I think is best here. I'm definitely doing the defense health here. Get a look what that looks like real quick. I can do a total of three nodes. I think I'll go ahead and do that. We'll submit it. I'll jump over here and select her. I uh, want to make sure I'm, I'm taking her down the right, the right path here as I do this. So... I'll jump into her talent grid and follow what I've selected on the left. Now I have the food and the iron to do so. We're good there. Now we can move back over to the leveling plan and uh, move into the next hero. Let's go ahead and go with... Yeah, I can definitely bring Santa up. So... Mm, let's actually go with Missandra first. She's actually next in line. We'll give her the revive, submit. Basically, it's just going to increase her her power by uh, five, and that's good with me. Let's give it to her, submit, pull her up in the grid, go ahead and uh, increase her, and then we're back to Santa. He can do a withstand. And before I save it, let's go ahead and submit. And this is the way that we can verify that we have enough food. Here's the uh, node that would be increased. That's the food and iron I had. I'm, I'm totally safe. Can go ahead and move forward with it. Let's go ahead and update Santa. Boom, done. Back to the next one. Let's uh, go ahead and move forward with Liana. Liana. 
no conflicts with Ranger. And uh, we'll definitely, well, we got to go with the tag. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll submit and save after we verify that we have the food for that. Absolutely have enough in both cases. Update her in the talent grid real quick. Flip back to her Ranger. And we'll place her back in my preferred state, which is wearing. And then we have, looks like we got Boral and Grim left. So let's go ahead and go with Grim. We can actually max him out. And uh, definitely let's go defense health. And then submit that, see what the changes look like. They look good to me. We'll verify that we have the food and iron. Absolutely have it. We're completely safe there. Save and submit. He's now marked as maxed and we'll scroll over and select Grim. And just to verify we're going the right way, which I'm pretty sure we were going with the not wearing hero. Yes. We'll just verify it here. So we'll go right node and last node and we're good there. And then we'll uh, end up with Boral here. And let's go with the mana. Let's make him a little quicker over critical. As uh, his AOE is for the own heroes. So that crit doesn't help them. Let's go ahead and blend him up. And we'll just go ahead and verify that we're, go we're going the right, the right way here on the left node. Even though it shows crit, it's not in this case. We'll set him back to costumed. And there we go, we got the mana. So we're all good there. We've done all the classing that we actually can. So the only thing we have left All these heroes are at 370, so nothing I can do there. I wanted to bring Wukong up to the costume level just to get the costume bonus. So let's go ahead and, and do our uh, our leveling there with him. I send him real quick. And there we go. So we'll uh, jump back to our leveling plan down to Wukong. We'll edit him real quick. We've gone from section one to two, level 50, back to leveling plan. Here we are. We've done everything that was possible to do in our leveling plan. Boom, done.